in today's video we will continue the topic simple simultaneous equations we did a few problems in the earlier videos in those questions we had two sets of equations and we solved them using either method of substitution or method of elimination and found the solution of those two simple simultaneous equations in this video we will learn how to form the simple simultaneous equations and then find the solution for the formed simple simultaneous equations. So, in your question, you will be given statements. So, those statements, you will convert them into mathematical equation. This is the process of forming simultaneous equations so you will read the question and you will convert the statements given in words into mathematical equation so the first and foremost thing which we have to do for solving these type of problems is read the question well and understand the question so each and every statement in the question will be transferred into mathematical equation so if we are asked to find two unknown variables we will have to form two equations so in order to get two things for example if they are asking us to find two numbers so we will assume the numbers to be variables any variable you can take it as x y a b it's up to us so we will form two equations which has x and y so we will read the question convert each and every statement in the question into mathematical equation this is the first example the question says if the sum and difference of two numbers are 100 and 20 respectively so the sum is 100 and difference is 20 we have to find the two numbers. So, if the sum and difference of two numbers are 100 and 20 respectively, find the two numbers. First, we understood the question. The question says, the sum of two numbers is 100 and the difference of the same two numbers is 20. So, we are asked to find the two numbers. So, first, we will check what is asked. We are asked to find two numbers, correct? So, whatever is asked we have to assume it as some variables so let one number we are asked to find two numbers right so we will assume one number to be x and so one number is x and another number be y so, I have to find two numbers. So, the first and foremost thing we have to do is understand the question and find out what is required. We are asked to find two numbers. So, whatever is asked to find, we will assume it as variables. So, in this question, we are asked to find two numbers. So, we are assuming the two numbers to be some unknown variable. So, I am taking it as x and y. We can take any variable a, b, s, t, anything. It is up to you. So, I am going to transfer the statements given in words mathematically in form of an equation. So, the first statement says the sum of two numbers is 100. So, sum is connected to 100. So, the sum of two numbers is 100. That means what is a, what are the numbers now? We have assumed the numbers to be x and y. So, x and y are the two numbers. The sum of two numbers means addition of these two numbers gives us 100. So, we formed our first equation. Next, it says the difference is 20. Difference of two numbers is 20. So, what are the two numbers which we assumed as x and y? The difference means minus x minus y is 20. Now, we have two equations. From two equations, we will get the two unknown variables by solving them. Now, as we see, we can use either method of substitution or method of elimination. Now, 
as soon as we see into this two equations we can see plus y and minus y so method of elimination will be easy because we need not do any f uh, functions we can directly eliminate this by adding 1 and 2 so when i add 1 and 2 y and minus y gets cancelled x plus x is 2 x and 100 plus 20 is 120 so 2 x is 120 that means x is equal to 120 by 2 therefore x is equal to 60 so one of my number is 60 now i have to find the other number i got x i have to find y so i will substitute the value of x either in the first equation or in the second equation now i substitute x is equal to 60 in first equation what is my first equation x plus y is equal to 100 x plus y is equal to 100 so what is the value of x 60 60 plus y is equal to 100 now y is equal to 100 minus 60 y is equal to 40 therefore my two numbers the two numbers are 60 x is 60 and y is 40 60 and 40 now we will check whether it is satisfying our equation 60 and 40 so x is 60 and y is 40 so 60 plus 40 gives me 100 60 minus 40 gives me 20 therefore my solution is correct let's discuss on another example now example 2 the question says if the sum of two numbers is 160 so the sum of two numbers is 160 and one number is thrice the other find the two numbers now our aim is to find two numbers so we will assume the two numbers so let one number be x and another number b y so x is one number and y is the other number now the first statement now to get x and y we need two equations because to find two unknown variables we need two equations so we have to form two equations from the given question so we have to check which are the two statements if the sum of two numbers is 160 so this is one statement sum of two numbers is 160 so i have two numbers x and y their sum gives us 160 sum means addition gives us is 160 means is means equal to is 160 this is the first equation and one number is thrice the other thrice means 3 into twice means 2 into 3 more means 3 plus 5 more means 5 plus 3 times also means 3 into 2 times means 2 into so times indicate into thrice twice also indicate into 3 more 5 more indicates plus 3 less 5 less indicates subtraction okay so these are certain things which we should know basically so the second statement is one number so what is one number one number is x that number is is means equal to thrice the other thrice means 3 into so 3 into the other number which is the other number y so x is equal to 3 into y means 3y this is our second statement so we got two equations first equation second equation now from the given two equations we can find that already the value of the variable the variable is expressed in terms of y the variable x is expressed in terms of y so which method will be easy here since we already have the variable of x expressed in terms of y we will go for substitution method so we will substitute this equation 2 in 1 so substituting x is equal to 3y in 1 
So what is the value of h? H becomes 3y plus y. So h plus 3y is equal to 160. So 3y plus y is equal to 160. I expressed h in terms of y which is 3y which is our second equation. Now 3y plus y gives us 4y which is 160. Now y is equal to 160 by 4. Y is equal to 40. So this is one. This is a solution for Y. Now we got Y. Next we will find H. If we go and substitute Y either in the first equation or second equation. We will get the value of H. I am substituting the value of Y in equation 2. Substituting Y is equal to 40 in equation 2. What is my equation 2? H is equal to 3y. So, H is equal to 3 into 40. H is equal to 120. I got my H as 120 and Y as 40. So, I was asked to find two numbers. Now, the two numbers are H is 120 and Y is 40. Therefore, the two numbers are 120 and 40. Now we will check whether the answer is correct by substituting in the equation. So my x is 120, 120 plus y, y is 40. 120 plus 40 gives me 160 and x is 120 which is equal to 3 into y. y is 40. 3 into 40 gives me 120. Both are both our equations are satisfied with the solution 120 and 40. This is another example. Now the question says of the two numbers, the sum of thrice of the first and double of the second is 59. Again the difference of the second number from double of the first is 9. Find the two numbers. So here we are asked to find the two numbers. So this is what we have to find the two numbers. So whatever we have to find we will assume it. Let one number be x and another number b y so we are asked to find two numbers these are the two numbers x and y now to find x and y the, these are two unknown variables to find two unknown variables we need two equations so we will form the equation from the statements given now of the two numbers the sum of the statement says of the two numbers of these two numbers you should use these two numbers. The sum of, sum of means you will use addition plus the sum of what and what we will find from the question. The sum of thrice of the first, thrice of the first. So 3x, this is the first number, thrice means 3 into x which is 3x. The sum of thrice of the first and Double of the second is 59. Double of the second means 2y. Double of the second. Second number is y. So, thrice of the first and double of the second. Sum of thrice of the first and double of the second is 59. So, this is our first equation. Next, we will form the second equation. Second equation we will get from the second statement. Till here we finish the first equation. Again the difference of difference means minus. Difference use goes for the symbol minus. Difference of the second number from double of the first. So you are subtracting the second number from something. So you, you are subtracting y. The second number is y. You are subtracting y from, from which number is given here? From double of the first. Double of the first means first is x. Double of the first is 2x. 
So 2x minus y gives you what is 9. So is means put equal to 9. So this is our second equation. So we formed two equations. Sum of thrice of the first and double of the second is 59. And difference of second number from double of the first is 9. So, we transferred it into equations. Now, it is left for us to solve the two equations using any of the methods which we studied. Now, I can see a plus and minus here. But there is a difference in the number. This is 2 and this is 1. So, if I make this 2, I can eliminate this variable and it will be easy for me to find the value of x. So, I feel method of elimination is easier rather than substitution because you, you can eliminate one variable and put it in the other equation and find. So, to make this 2, I will have to multiply the entire equation with 2. So, 2 into 2. So, this becomes 4x minus 2y is equal to 18. So, 2 2s are 4, minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 and 9 into 2 is 18. So, I get a third equation. So, if I see here, this is plus 2y and this is minus 2y. When I add 1 and 3, I will get the value of x by eliminating y. So, 1 plus 3. So, what is my 1? 3x plus 2y is 59 and 4x minus 2y is equal to 18. So, I remove this. 3x plus 4x is 7x. 9 plus 8 is 17. 7. So, it is 77. x is equal to 77 by 7 which is 11. Therefore, the value of x is 11. Okay. Now, to find the value of y, we will substitute in any one of the equation. I am using equation 2. Substituting x is equal to 11 in 2. So, 2x minus y is equal to 9. So, 2 into x. So, 2 into x is 2 into 11. 2 into 11 is 22 minus y is equal to 9. Minus y is equal to 9 minus 22. So, minus y is equal to 13. 13 plus 9 gives me 22, correct? Yes. So, minus y is minus 13. y is equal to minus 13 by minus 1. Minus by minus is plus. y is 13. So, the two numbers are 11 and 13. So, just try if you put 11 and 13 in the solution. Are you getting the solution? So, are you getting your right answer right? 3 into 11 is 33. And 13 into 2 is 26. So, 26 plus 33 is 59. In the same way, 2 into 11 is 22. 22 minus 13 is 9. So, you are getting your constant values correctly. So, the two numbers are. Therefore, the two numbers are 11 and 13. Thank you.